Live from a sweet, sweet corner of a little town called Austin, go tell Glary to jump in a lake because it's going to be a great night. Now, Father, why can I not date a top lighter? Fine, Father, here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Yo, you want a cash grab? Let's, go, let's grab some cash. All right, you ready? Here we go. Go. Here we go. Go. All the cash I got. Bitcoin. All right. <laughs> I have one Bryce. <laughs> Look at what that. Bryce? Yeah. We call it's him Bryce Monticello Castillo. It's a Monticello. nickel. Monticello? Hey, yes. Bryce. Hi. Ah, get on the top of me. With- that was for you. I was giving you your money. <laughs> Thanks. I gave you your money. I am. This is not the first time I've had money thrown at me at my place of business. This okay, week. brag <laughs> about it. Oh, what, 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 the, was it metal? Are you, are you are you are you are you spreading them cheeks on the weekend? Or? Usually it's not. I'm sorry, metal. what? Spreading them cheeks? Like what? pulling his butt cheeks apart for cash? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you open up the box labeled butthole and guess what's inside? Money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You guys have boxes? <laughs> Hey, Bryce, what's our first story? Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Give me that nickel back, motherfucker. <laughs> there you go. Ba, 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 photograph. Ba, ba, ba. Gord Killers journalistic intent. Uh, okay, so. Did you not have the I didn't have it ready. Thing? Look, I had to click a lot of buttons very quickly. Yeah. Man. Beer, beer, Man. Beer. It's crazy this is our first night. That's, yeah. that's nuts. We're doing great. First okay. night back. I, first, I, night first night back. back. Our first night back. First night back. Yeah. So we, we like, feel like it was it. easier yeah. to follow the She-Hulk Hulk <laughs> blood transfusion bit. Than Apologies this. again for everybody that, that we, uh, we we don't. That we're was doing a good bit. Now. We're that doing a good show. Good. Hello. It's a good show. We're doing the good show now. Yes. Hi. Uh, you know what else is a good show? What's a good show? Cord Killers. Oh, uh, oh, it's it's a it. show I host with uh, 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 Tom Merritt. Tomas uh, Marie. Yeah, the, the in, God. In, uh, yep, pretty much. Uh, yep. God of podcasting, host yep. of Daily Tech News Show, somebody who takes uh, his obligations. Boy, here's a fun game. Try to say something not completely factually accurate on a podcast with Tom Merritt. <laughs> oh, he'll, he'll, he'll get up in that shit. How, how does he handle that? So what Tom will do with me on Daily Tech News Show, because that is a very timed show, and so I'm on every Thursday, I'll start saying something that he knows is either incorrect. Mm -hmm. If it's incorrect, he'll just pop in with a quick, like, of course what you meant to say was that it's bleep blop. Uh, uh, And so he's always professional. He's never, like, shaming. Uh, Every once in a while, if I go on, like, a take that is clearly wrong, that I have gotten some factual thing wrong, at the end of it, he'll say, like, well, I'm sure many people might think that you got that intentionally wrong and then reshape my take to make so you sound better. awesome. Yes. Right. So uh, things about Tom Merritt, Supreme Class Act, uh, yes. gets his facts straight, is unwilling to allow falsehoods to be spoken on any journalistic podcast that he does. Uh, wonderful in all of those ways. Yes. Period. Uh Oh, new sentence. Wow. Are you going to talk shit on Tom? 26 hours ago, Uh-oh. I was doing show prep for Cord Killers. Uh-huh. And one of the things Tom does is he makes sure to give background information, especially if something is esoteric and difficult to understand. Yeah. The lead story yesterday was that MoviePass was being raised from the dead. Yeah. Movie passed. It's good. Uh, mo- okay. Movie passed. Movie pass was the all you can eat movie card that yep. people were abusing before the pandemic. And then yep. it filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy and was gone. And now it's coming back in kind of an audible type of form where there's going to be credit credits or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so Tom, because he is a consummate professional, wants to make sure that people have context on the history of movie pass. So now. I, I think I know exactly what he's talking about. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Now, cut to. Uh, if this is a movie, yeah, Brian furiously running across the seven acres, door kicked open, other door kicked open. At the controls 
is Bryce Castillo and John Rael. John, learning from Bryce how to do the live switching for cord killers. This yeah. very serious journalistic in, 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 in show about cutting, cutting the cord. Yeah. Brian says to, to, to Bryce, Bryce, did you read the top story? And Bryce is like, yeah, of course. Yeah. And it was like, what do we do? And Bryce is like, what are you talking about? And then he looks at the show doc. And then Bryce freezes, begins a slow grin. And there is, I kid you not, 45 seconds of silence. <laughs> and then Bryce says, we can't do anything. Because what he has seen is that in his show doc that Tom put together, he grabbed background information on MoviePass from a little site called Wikipedia. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, hey, no, Bryce, could, could, no. Uh, uh, I, no, I, I, I know what this is. <laughs> I know what this is, too. <laughs> no, my God, Tom. <laughs> So uh, someone very hopefully clipped that on Twitch here. Um, let's take a listen to this week's Cord Killers, just briefly. How many uh, podcast listeners may have altered the Wikipedia page? Um, who was it that created uh, MoviePass, Tom? Uh, it says it was Tony B. Cast, Hammett Watt, <laughs> Stacey Spikes, and suddenly, suddenly now Tony Bryce B. Castillo. Cast. Uh, or maybe that was Tony B. Casty. <laughs> <laughs> the uh we <laughs> they, they <still> <laughs> And Tom is totally broken. He's surprised. So, he doesn't, and he doesn't want to look so, foolish. Okay, all right, all right. Pause this moment. <laughs> In fact, uh, uh, Bryce, if you can scroll back to Tom at the moment that he realizes that his life has all fallen apart, so we can, <laughs> so we can just look. At, 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 at Tom's face, because what we're going to do is go back in time, oh. and we are going to remember when MoviePass was a big thing. This was during the lockdown, that it was uh, filing for bankruptcy, and if I remember correctly, it was somebody in chat realm. Our, it was, it was our, one of our own one on of this our very own show. That went into Wikipedia and replay or added to the founders of movie pass <laughs> the nickname of one bryce neshkom castillo tony, tony b casty because, because anthony b casting <laughs> <laughs> we simply be casting yeah so now now keep in mind this was a very minor act of vandalism <laughs> on an abandoned property spider that bite was... spider bite is claiming responsibility so we'll give him yeah i believe it now. was spider bite yeah. uh so oh yeah uh, oh, oh yeah and yes, it was on DTNS too. Oh, it was on girl. DTNS, and it was like the day before. <laughs> oh no! So we didn't even know. He did. Uh, okay, so uh, the the agonizing moment that we had was like, mm. oh my god, did uh, 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 like is he setting up a bit on us? Because that seems like something like he would put that in the notes and then and deliver then wait it for us to figure it out. Or like, yeah. and it yeah. says here, Tony B. Casty. Yeah. Wink! You wouldn't know anything about that, Brian. So we're like, okay, if he is doing a bit, let's let him do his bit, yes. right? Uh, it became very clear it was not a bit. He was not doing a bit. Uh, I realized that I did not want to shame him. No. <laughs> so no. I said, well, I think this opens up a lot of interesting questions about <laughs> blank, but let me address this thing. And pretty much the worst of all worlds where there was neither a laugh nor a cringe, but instead... The cold, hard, oh, steel face no! gaze of somebody <laughs> assessing coolly the situation around him. <laughs> oh. And then, uh, uh, and, and we just kept on going. And then we, uh, we in the after talk segment for the patrons of that show, we were, I was like, hey man, is that really cool? He was like, oh no, it was call, great for all these reasons. Up. Call right. him up. Uh, okay, okay, wait, right now. If I'm going to call, call him up, Tom it's going to be right for something now. better. It is. Do we have oh, another right. segment? Uh, th this is part of the same segment. Oh my God! There's another Tom story. <laughs> yes, yes, because we found out something awesome. Did right you know that? I'm gonna let you take this one. Stop it! Tom's very popular. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, when Tom tweets, how many retweets do you think he gets? At Ace Detect, Mr. Mr. Tom Merritt. That's been on Twitter for a very long time. T E C T. T E C T. Let's say let's say there's a bandy light. E oh my there's God. a bandy light. I know exactly where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Tom, I would say being somebody who is influential in the tech media space, 
probably when he when he tweets something that is either clever clever or informative probably would get anywhere between 30 and 100 retweets at at, at, at the top end yeah. would you be surprised if i got one or two you. here like we got like See, what do we got we got a uh, three for for good day internet yesterday yep. Yep. that's good uh we got one for a quote tweet oh, about yeah. cookies 10's not bad 10 okay 10 yeah. that's and that's a pin quote that's yeah, a pin I mean, I, tweet, I'm, but... I'm talking upper end because he he knows enough people that are gigantic that might retweet him and then he would get I mean, along with is that. is a is 179 retweets big enough for you, James? I would say yeah, that that would be around where I would imagine his 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 top, top end, end. Or yeah. Maybe yeah. 1,460 retweets, maybe. What the <laughs> <laughs> one? What is he? One thousand, just one thousand. Just, just, just a one thousand. Yeah, 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 is he, is he, is he like, like retweets? Was a big deal. Are you surprised? This motherfucker like, making like a kafefi joke in twenty fifteen. Like, like what are we talking about? Here? Byron, what are you saying? One thousand four hundred and sixty retweets is a lot of retweets. I would say that's a lot. Yeah, I can fill you up with retweets. Well, uh, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But you know I, who I can't fill up? Who oh. is the actual? Number of retweets Tom Merritt got. How many retweets did Tom Merritt? Well, can I see the tweet or the, the tweet before I see what what the retweet is? Or, or well, should I see the number first? Okay, uh, here we go. I'm looking for the top one. Okay, this is the second to top one. All right, but this one also did very well. Okay, uh, how about 1,687 retweets? That's, that's quite, pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, is, that, is that enough for you? So that's that's a Super Bowl tweet. Yeah. A Super Bowl tweet. Sort of. Can you yep. read it for? Can you read it out, Justin? Are you uh, able to see uh, that? I'll zoom it in. How you like that? The loudest in the room. They are playing with fire. Everything they need is on the ground. The Super Bowl is full of references to Black Pink. Uh, now I'm gonna need you to translate this for me because I don't really. I'm too busy arguing with Spectrum. Uh, so I, I I'm gonna pull from my knowledge of Tom Merritt's life. Yeah, and that is that he is a bit of a fan of. Korean entertainment, including yeah. movies, television, and music. Yeah. So I would guess that those phrases are songs from a K-pop band or you know episode names from a from a Korean television series. All right. I, I mean, was that enough retweets for you? Was sixteen hundred enough retweets? One thousand six hundred. I mean, it's a lot of retweets, right? We we would all agree that's a lot of re if yeah. you if you retweeted if you tweeted something and it was retweeted that amount, you'd be like, damn, that's a that's a lot of retweets. Uh, yes, it would be the most retweets on anything ever for yeah. me. Yeah. What, okay. Uh, I feel like it could use a little more. <laughs> okay. I feel like he could use I don't know, two thousand retweets, six hundred and thirty-three retweets. 12,000 likes for what did he say? Snowdrop on Disney Plus is very good. <laughs> End of tweet at 10 p.m. That's about 8 p.m. Well, Los Angeles time. I don't understand. What the fuck is oh, happening? Tom, what is Snowdrop? Uh, well, let's, le let's see if Tom uh, can uh, fill us in on this. If he's on the phone. There we go. Will he pick up? I mean, he's probably reading Wikipedia. Yeah, he's probably just at home. You reach four one five. Ah! Ah! Damn it! Is an old voicemail? No, he he has his opsec. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Uh, uh. 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 All right. So part of this is we do know where he is, which is even funnier. Uh, uh, where? Uh, Bryce. Bryce. Did you remember the band? Yeah, he is at a twice concert twice is a big k-pop is another big k-pop so wait, hold on so he has he been caught up in 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 the k-pop stand like yeah, stream so now people are like following him because they know he tweets about k-pop he should that's my that was my pitch to him in the group chat was was lean into be, it lean into, lean into it, into it. Uh, be by the, the way it was really weird because like at first it's like oh you're both speaking nonsense now that's funny <laughs> and then at some point i was like i i don't know what is happening yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and so, so Bryce, patiently... Bryce and Tom knew exactly what oh, yeah. was happening. Oh, yeah. So wait, what is Snowdrop? Uh, so Snowdrop is a K-drama that they have on Disney+. Plus. Gotcha. And so the, the 50, 20, 25, 50, whatever show he talks about, and the, the Snowdrop, those are all K-dramas. So I guess people are name-searching yeah. you know, Blackpink and Snowdrop, and he's 
I think he can lean into it. Like I think he's got a. I mean, he very authentically that is his likes brand. His it. brand is talking nice about things that he really likes, yeah. and he fucking loves that Korean shit. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's also the brand of all the the K-pop fans, right? Is they're all super nice. They respect boundaries. Wait, you want to <laughs> you want to pick this fight, motherfucker? Like that is on you. Yeah. If you want to be the glary to I'm, them, I'm, then you I'm can on go the ahead outside, man. I don't. I don't really you know. You go ahead and do Look, it. Look, I just have no a little K-pop place hater, Brian Brushwood, here in Delaware. To distance myself from. Uh, go to Delaware. That's where I live. For where? That's where we're broadcasting from. From Delaware. Yeah. Yep. Where K-pop is despised. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, if you want to despise it, I guess it'll be the. That's your There's bit. a first for everything. You're the glary. No, I'm the defender of K-pop. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two faced motherfucker. Bryce, what's your next epic? EK's gone viral. <laughs> How many retweets? <laughs> is that what we're doing? Because we're just talking about how many retweets wow, people got? Yeah. <laughs> She's going to seem really shitty next to fucking Tom's <laughs> K-pop tweet. Mm. Uh, Brett, what's uh, what's up with this, Brett? So my lovely wife, E.K. Weaver, who's over there, but, you know, keep the camera on me. E.K., you don't want to you, you talk on the internet? Is that not a thing you like to do? You could do audio only. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah. silently well, gesturing. She EK says, "Is a a well known artist and comic book creator." Yes, and uh, so she I mean, to put that. it in context, the first time that we had you okay. on the show, and Bryce found out <laughs> who your it. wife was. He, yeah, there was an involuntary. Oh, <gasps> oh, yeah. I do believe it was. <laughs> and I Maybe. was like, "What?" <laughs> so, uh, uh, it was something that goes on with Ek and I for years and years is she works hard. She works very hard for the money. to create She works hard for the money. Wonderful yeah. And that's comic why books. you treat her so poorly. That's yeah. exactly <laughs> I cooked her a steak, all right? So anyway. That's not a lyric. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Though it should be. So she works very She and, works and, hard and, for the money, so you but better up, but cook up. her a steak. And, and so <laughs> but over up. the years, over the years, she will work on something very much, and then as a throwaway, we'll just like do a thing, and then that will be the thing that goes crazy. Yeah. So yeah. like like the first time I really remember that happening was when uh, we were doing uh, anime music videos, and uh, she she decided to uh, uh, use a Cowboy Bebop video and do uh, I get high from a little with the little sure, from my sure, friends. Sure. Oh, whoa, oh, wow. Yeah. That took a life. Yeah, turn. with Joe Cocker. Yeah. And it's amazing. But at the same time, she had all, all these bits of stuff that she couldn't put together. And I go, why don't you just throw that together? And Hold on. Breaking news. Joining us live is uh, K-pop's defender of all great things, Tom Merritt. How are you, sir? Hey. I'm good, Brian. How are you? I'm good. Uh, listen, we know you're at home studying your Wikipedias, uh, but we thought we would bring you into the conversation. What's it like to be the definitive American voice of K-pop? Well, uh, I, I don't know if I can really claim that title. I'm, I'm really just baby army. I'm Blink. Uh, I'm at a twice concert right now, so I don't know if I count as once yet or not. <laughs> now, hold on. So you're literally at a K-pop concert right this minute. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, we we just went through security and, uh, and and we're outside the Twice concert in Los Angeles at the Fabulous Forum. Uh, and and are they playing yet? No, no, they they go on stage in like a couple hours. Uh, uh, Tom, uh, Justin Young here. I uh, I, I just want to know, like, like, are you going to continue to talk about tech? <laughs> <laughs> Now, now that you have a new career, just being a K-pop influencer, you know uh, Bryce is encouraging me to make that transition. <laughs> yes! <laughs> do it, do it, do it. <laughs> uh, so, so hashtag Lean In Tom. <laughs> yeah, uh, hashtag Tom Blink Lily Army. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, uh, what do you have to say to all of our newfound fans? Uh, as you know, here on the show, we've always loved K-pop, K- K-pop. except for Brian, who despises no, it. No, I've always, uh, I, I believe it. I was the one that introduced you. I to... don't think that's true. <laughs> I think that's the opposite. Uh, okay, well, 
He's a real glary, Tom. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> uh, what do you want to say to everyone? I just want to say bora hey. Okay, all right. Back up. We love you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Bye, Tom. <laughs> yep. I bet you there was a lot of references in there I didn't get. Uh, okay, I guarantee it. That yeah. was like that was like uh, imagine that, but just pages of it between. It was like two pages <laughs> <laughs> of it was, what? Of texts <laughs> of oh. the two of them going on. Oh, that you guys uh, were on a group text. They were all yes, and, and they're I'm just, just like, and they're just two Furbies interacting with each other, <laughs> and right. you're just like, I don't know. What I the guess fuck I guess what on. I'm trying to say is I now what it's like. I now know what it's like to attend Great Night for the first time. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we're like, oh, looks like everyone's having fun. Speaking of which, we now joined our Great Night episode already in progress. And so <laughs> she did this one video that was ended up piecing stuff together, and it's known as failed experiments. And uh, music video editing, <laughs> and and that if you go look for it, which I'm not asking Bryce to do, but I'm saying it became huge. Yeah. When she was but like, if Bryce was a good producer, he would that, go I didn't, fight. I it. didn't. Throw if that he in was him, more Brett than Glary, yes, exactly. he more, would like yeah. suddenly there have that. <laughs> there, there it is. Look at that. Wow. So they, right. this, so, is like fucking, this is like fucking genius. Like they actually like what songs are in it. What yeah. this is like fucking. This is like fucking genius. Like they actually like what songs are in it. What animes are used. Wow. Yeah. By yeah. the way, I love that we downgraded the super uh, uh, not accessible nerdy conversation about K-pop <laughs> With to only talk about viral anime videos. Yep. Yep. Like, come on, guys, let's get a little mainstream here. Can we please just talk about Cowboy Bebop? <laughs> so, uh, so, so that, I was just saying that that's just one example. Yeah. Here's uh, in this her, isn't even the fucking story. Well, I'm trying to get there. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Two more things. I, I feel like <laughs> swear to God, if it if it involves Wikipedia or a concert, okay, it's not okay. Nor K-pop. Brett so. Story is apparently getting paid by the mile. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> for once. Uh, so two things to look forward to: Canadian uh, trucker uh, over she, here. She, she did it. <laughs> so she, she, I value their their chuffs more than your silence. We are, we are, we are, we are all the frustrated Ottawa residents as he lights oh. fireworks outside of his big ring. <laughs> Go ahead. She does a comic book. It does well, mm -hmm. but then she draws this thing about cats. What cats say, and it goes huge. Could you show that, please? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, there we go. The cat oh. says meow. Oh, yeah. look at that. Yeah, and and like now we see that everywhere. Wait, are are, are these uh, different uh, cultures representations? No, no, it's just what cats say. Oh, just some shit yeah. that cats say. Sometimes cats, cats say what like cats say. Yeah, yeah. Remember, remember, remember that shit that girls say video? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, but with pussy. <laughs> Three. So the three, four, and so the uh, the other thing that's re recently that's the happened. one we three, four, okay. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> well, no, because here's the punchline: uh, uh, the the thing that she's done recently that was just to see if uh, with if Tumblr, if Twitter would make big deals. <laughs> oh my God! Time out! Time out! Time yeah. out! Brett, well, I get I get uh, twenty fourteen called. That's a yellow card. Sorry. <laughs> I'm confusing uh, Tumblr for Twitter. I am not uh, young. I am no not young. one's been to Tumblr since they took the porn out. Right. So, they didn't get all of it. Speaking of porn. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, emerging from the sewer grade of Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> the true Bryce, believers still exist. Would you like my flesh wares, traveler? Bryce emerging. My flesh wares. Bryce emerging from the jungle, convinced World War II is still happening. <laughs> so show the last one. It's called Snitties. Sure. So okay, this is a tweet uh -oh. from at Big Big Truck. Yes. What, Justin, what does the tweet say? Uh, wow, Twitter added a useful feature. And then uh, we've got, uh, looks like it should be an image here. What is, Brian, Brian can you says read here, that? content warning, nudity. The tweet author flagged this tweet uh, showing the sensitive content. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm going to click the show button. Boop. <laughs> 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 All right, paid off, paid off. <laughs> Worth the it journey. Is, so it is. It is for it's audio. It's a snake with titties. Yeah, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is a snake with titties, snitties. and it just says snitties <laughs> over top of it. And uh, Perky, I'm just saying. 
Perky. My wife is brilliant, is all Perky. I'm saying. Uh, show me them snitties. Show me them snitties. <laughs> show me your snitties. Show me your snitties. We got around the nipple law. Come at us, Twitch. We live in Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> it's a law? <laughs> we did. We did. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me ask my wife if that violates. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, here, while you're doing that, I'll remind everybody that they could. Oh, wait, is there another story? Uh, Yeah, we have two more, actually. Oh, okay. Well, we, yeah, we can, we have one it's more. good that we have a full pair of stories. <laughs> I can't believe that you guys say that I tell a story by the mile. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, no one said fair. we're self aware. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you would be very good at, 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 at don't get brody. <laughs> All right. Are, are we calling? Are we, uh, we're calling yeah, in? Yeah. All, right. Right. Call, all right. We're calling one. Call, Ashley Paramore. Uh, Ashley Paramore. Hey, everybody. Have you heard? Apparently, the news? now this is a call snakes out have titties. Snitties. <laughs> snitties. Sneaky snakes have snitties. I wonder what yes. my kids. Hi. Uh, so I know you don't. You're on the air, by the way. I know. I know you don't speak for all of Twitch, but uh, uh, just a general guy <laughs> where uh, we may or may not be have crossed the line right now. Uh, we showed an illustration of a I snake. I love you, bye. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did she just say, I'm sure you're fine? And she said, no, I, I think no. it was, I she love said, you, bye. I love you, bye. <laughs> She's not touching that one with a 10-foot snitty. Man, you, you get an I love you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the <our> next summer? <laughs> Visual learner counts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought you remember when we were going to do this bit too? <laughs> we thought this was the most complicated bit. Uh, no, I, I just was laughing at uh, uh, the fact that that title was one letter off. Um, <laughs> going to be a Four. virtual learner. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, okay, we went on a vacation for 48 hours, and it turns out that uh, uh, Josie and Penny, they just are doing night attack now. Uh, uh, yes. The old, oh! the old, uh, to make the storytelling part of the next part of the show very interesting <laughs> humans <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you thank you justin um, no it turns out the kids are, are doing great night uh uh and writing their own bits and characters um i heard them constantly doing this ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, thing and i asked them to explain what was happening because they would giggle every time how'd they explain it well, they said, uh, they said, uh, uh, well, uh, you know, the count. Father. <laughs> no, the youngest, the youngest one was not. Father, in please it. explain the bit my sister, sister one and sister two are doing. <laughs> father, I don't listen to the pre-show. They talk about cars too much. Father, father, their japes confuse me. <laughs> father, they talk Provide about 2001 a lot. <laughs> Did you know that Calliope legitimately gets a kick out of calling me father? Father. father. <laughs> so Penny and Josie developed this bit, and I could tell they're doing a running gag. And I'm like, okay, what's this bit? What's this bit? And they're like, okay, well, it's the Count from Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay. And he assumes everyone else is a vampire. I'm like, okay. Um, uh, uh. <laughs> That's Wait, neither that, here nor there. That's a twist. All right. We're, we're, we are twisting the character. Well, I, and, and probing a little bit, like, they would do stuff like, like, uh, Penny would be in the pantry and Josie would try to come in and, and Penny would say, you cannot come in. You've not been invited. And then Josie would walk in and she would go, what? <laughs> and, then, and then she'd be like, here, hold this garlic. And then she'd hold it. And what? And so then they uh, uh, elaborated on it by making uh, the count from Sesame Street a uh, highly intelligent, long-memoried uh, visual learner who doesn't know how to count. Uh <laughs> Hold on. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Can you please repeat that last few set of words? Uh, uh, who doesn't know how to count. No, before that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> say, 
highly intelligent, highly intelligent, visual learner yeah, with a long memory, with a long memory, who, who doesn't does not know how, how to count. count. So the count from Sesame Street, yes. who assumes everybody else is a vampire, yes. who has a visual memory. It's not complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a complicated bit. <laughs> and how did the impression go? Uh, well, okay. You remember there are different aspects. There was the first aspect. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Then there was another aspect. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Then there was some more aspects. Ah, 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 ah. The, the, the running gag is just whenever you have to count a thing, you, <laughs> you, do, you got to land it. Land I'm it. doing the bit right oh, now. Damn it. I'm we doing the bit it. right oh, now. The bit it's up. not complicated. You the joke, the joke is he can't it. count. All right. Behind the curtain. We tried to get Josie's book. <laughs> we tried to get Benny. Fucking wouldn't show up. Bonnie shows up. We're like, good, at least one person. And then Bonnie's just like, hey, oh, fuck you. Do I have to? Here's the bit. Hey, buddy. Here's the bit. The bit was we set everything up, and then it's uh, uh, one. One. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Another, <laughs> uh, which is uh, exactly uh, what I did. No, it's it's no. another one. It's, it's an, oh. another one. Okay. Oh. Another one. Okay. Ah uh, ah uh, uh. Another it, one. Right. Uh, he only he uh. only knows one, and then others of one. What? Wait. You just kept saying another. <sighs> no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Tom no. Merritt. Next topic. Next topic. Topic. Next topic. One shaved head. God damn it. This is a long what? time. What? <laughs> All right. My fault. No, it would have been the fucking entire show if you would have let us shave you bald. Baby. Uh, yeah, man. Oh. Yo, what's up? Yeah, what's, what's up? up, Brett? Yo, what's all that weird shit coming out the top of your yeah, head? Yeah, what's up with that? What's your fucking Yo, shit, man? dude? It's, hey, what's, your, what's up with your fucking head? What, 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 what is the same shit? Word. Grease what and you this? got the Crete, the secrete? Yeah, yeah, well, old up? secrete Brett That's over absolutely. here. Why are you Trojan secret? horse yeah, motherfucker horse with his it. hair horse? everywhere. Horsey sauce. Did you just learn a bunch of Crete jokes? Oh, man, he's half man, half donkey. He's a donk car. Yeah. Donkey. How would you say donkey? Donkey. Donkey. <laughs> Secret. What? Can you please tell me about your scalp, Brett? So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be a three hour show. Renaissance Festival's coming up. Oh, wow. Uh, this is my first year that I can really just go. I can just go. I'm part of a. Wait, a wait, why, wait, why, why, why were you not able to go before? Yeah, because I didn't have let you in. money or I was performing in another show. This is a GoFundMe. I was, I was busy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, go, let's, let's raise some money. Well, what do no, you mean? he can go now. He can go. go. He can go now fully. So oh. uh, not only am I going to go, I've decided to create a new character uh, for this. Yeah. Uh huh. A uh, kind of a. Uh, we get to name him. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Not. not Secret. It better not be Clary. <laughs> it's Secret. Secret. Yes. Is it C period? Actually, you guys Secret help Ramen. Me That's your name. Is <laughs> Secret Ramen and like Play-Doh? Yeah. You just squint your head and fucking ramen noodles come out <laughs> whenever you want. And that's why I need to shave my head. What? Yes. <laughs> why? Because why are you going to shave your head? They had hair back then. Let me. Let me. <laughs> Okay. It wasn't invented I, I in the will, in the, a modern not, era. I will not be. It wasn't an, an, uh, an industrial age invention. That's true. Uh, Henry Ford wasn't like, uh, 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 people don't need a faster horse. They need a head of hair. <laughs> I, I've decided that this is, character is a grizzled bard character. Okay. And so, really, once I st thought about it, it's Daniel Whittington, but bigger. Okay. Wait, sorry. What do you say? We all know who that is. You could launch. You could launch a SpaceX rocket on Brian's eyebrow, going <laughs> <laughs> at the side of I, Daniel. I feel uh, sorry. Uh, no, go on. Tell us about go your on. superior we breed all of know Whittington. Who Daniel Whittington is? Yes, obviously. All of us know it. All we, you know it. Four know people it. on the show realizing right this, going, "Well, I want a musician character that you know." A little more grizz, but grizzled. But, but but not with the negative aspects of the traditional Daniel, Daniel Whittington. Whittington. Sure, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Up to and including what? Uh, but also more aerodynamic well, than like than Grace Daniel. The, first of all, was, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, God damn it! You know, his, his hatred of K-pop. His, his 
inability to spoon, and, yeah. you know, that uh, he also can't make a roux. So we all know that. It's all well known. It is well known, right? I'm very confused. Yeah. I, there's this moment when the funniest thing to do is for everyone to go silent <laughs> and leave you twisting in the wind. Yeah, yeah. I never knew this until I started doing this show with Justin Robert Young. <laughs> Justin, this is what that text message with me and, and Brian and Tom was yeah. like for Brian. This is uh, what <laughs> So uh, uh, you obviously want to be more aerodynamic than yes. this man because you want to shave your head. Yes. You want and to I go thought, faster. I might as well. I might as and, well. And this is happening when? This week, next week. Some so wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, like hold on. In hold on. days, days, hours. We're hours all, away from all, all, this. All seriousness, yeah. beyond the Ren Fair, yes. is this a lifestyle decision? No. Is, is this an excuse to make a lifestyle choice? No. Because my wife it may not like it, and if she doesn't like it, I'm growing that hair back. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, visually, since apparently she won't get on a mic, uh, uh, EK, wh where do you, on a scale from one to ten, expect yourself to be uh, a about a, a bald husband of yours? Like, like do you, do you, do you, do you think you're gonna like it? it? Out of ten, ten is you like it a lot. Uh, one is you hate it. I, I I will before EK replies uh, say that there was, <laughs> there was a lawyer. brief moment that um, uh, uh, I, I bumped into you at Wizard Academy and you were full on fifties NASA vibes with the with the, uh, yes. the crew cut and the the trim. Like I, I mean. Uh, you could pull off some looks, is what yeah, I'm saying. Sure, I'm, I am an actor, so there are times where I, I want to go. Sure, let's try something out. Let's see. And now I have a, a regular job that means that I can dress however the hell I want. So it's like, let's give it a shot. See what right, happens. EK. It's not a lifestyle change. It's just a character. one to ten. One to ten. Do you think you're going to really like it or really hate it? But guess, guesstimate. Your your working thesis is. 6.5. Okay. So she, I mean, like, that's, that's if odd. Were, I mean, like, if she, if she were fully hedging, it'd be five. Yeah. She is, she is She's bald curious right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which is bald curious. Okay. That's right. Uh, um, I had a friend once who wanted to move to Austin. And he said, but I'll do it later. And I said, or you could do it now. And then he hopped on a plane, came down, bought the first house he looked at, and now he's doing great. I know what you're trying to do? <laughs> also, the answer is no. <laughs> I mean, just a little off the top, just a little. No, little snip. Nope. Snipperoo. Nope. Sneep stop. Snip down. No, I'm gonna. I want to make this. I'm gonna do the spend the money, go to the place where they do all the do things. Do it nice, and they dude. That and ASMR they... bit is so old. I did that. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Nope. Go. Nope. All uh, right. Next topic. No, that's, that's our topic. Right. Uh, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen, patreoncom <laughs> slash Great night is where you need to go. Not uh, even one hair. Just not even one hair. No. Not even for like a fundraiser. Uh -uh. Where are we at? Where funds? are we at on Patreon right now? Uh, let's see. Patreon.com slash great night is where you can go and support this show at two dollars an episode. We got one thousand one uh zero hundred and sixteen patrons. So if we got if we got to seventeen hundred, I'll I'll give you a thousand dollars. Ooh, seventeen hundred dollars. If we got seventeen hundred, I would give Brett a thousand dollars if we could shave your head bald right okay, now. Okay, thank no, you for adding that. It that hasn't yeah. happened. I need the money first. Before. No, yeah, no, you Oh no, no, no. Yeah. We, we literally have that on now. Yeah. We'd no. Venmo. No. I think I have that in Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wanna, I, don't, I don't want to be shorn. I want to be pampered. Okay. We will pamper you. You're gonna. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Oh, You're I'm gonna sorry. be so I'm good. Sorry. I'm sorry. The thousand dollars would insult you so much. <laughs> ah. Oh no, I'm so sad. Oh my God. I'm so sad. You're like, hey man, nice bald head. You're like, yeah. Can you believe it's four days early <laughs> what yeah i know it's literally the worst thing ever and i only got a thousand dollars for doing it four days early and then joe biden would be like we need to remember the true victims the real victims that we are seeing every day yep. the hairs the hairs that <laughs> cut down <laughs> where they stand. four days too early <laughs> they were yes. meant to live for minutes and minutes longer but there they are as we speak <laughs> Podcast hosts are being shorn bald <laughs> for only $1,000 <laughs> in 1975. It was 2000 All right. Now, listen, I've interviewed a lot of people in an uncontroversial <laughs> format, but nothing has gotten more people upset than either my denial of going to the moon or my hot take on that. I think he should shave his head right now live <laughs> on great night. Uh. 
Who is that? It's, it's, it's Joe Rogan. He's doing we're, 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 we're Joe still, we're Rogan. Working it out. I, I I flat out stated the doing... denial of, but but then I started the thinking denial about denial of you going to the moon. <laughs> Joe Rogan also never went to the moon. I don't think he denied going to the moon. Okay, look, just because you use the word we to mean people, everyone not <laughs> in, everyone not in the room. slash great night is where you need to go. The moon conspiracy is not even like show. his most recent controversy. It's That's why I was old. thinking in the depths <laughs> he's digging in the crates of <laughs> joe rogan controversy he's going deep the sea crates he's going to the, the sea crates <laughs> deep 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 crates deep in the sea crates uh, sea crates uh, uh, look give us money because this shit is terrible <laughs> <laughs> come on man let's do it yeah no let's we had a vision it. it's like i remember i met justin once and i was like someday we're gonna have a beautiful show where a man will Clary. say, I'm going to shave my head, and we'll say when, and he'll say four days from now. Four days and from we'll now, say, off camera. And why don't we do it now, live on the air? And he'll say, yes. And I guess that day isn't tonight. No. Oh. oh. For real, though, the next time you want to make any kind of major life change, for the love of Christ, please <laughs> talk to us beforehand so we can make it content. Yeah. <laughs> this is That's all, all we I ask. want. That's all we ask. All of us. It's a reasonable ask. I literally, like, like Brian was joking about this, about, about moving down here, but, like, the entire reason why I wound up moving down here early was because I could not <laughs> rely on people that I knew in Austin to help us look for houses <laughs> before I made it content. Like it had to be, I had to announce it live on the show before I could tap into that local network. You are now one of us. Yeah. I know this might seem jarring that you would want to make personal decisions based on content for the show. But if you want to be part of the clan, you would have to be <laughs> shameful. Mm, mm, My crazy. only argument to this is with your fucking beautiful head of hair that you've got, and you He's want a to sexy shave man. this sad. No, head. no, no. We would get a person, and we would. Can we do it next week? Can you wait until next week, or does it have to be this if week? You wanna get, if you want to get some, can we get a person? Yes. We can get a person. If you can get a person. I like, they're you called barbers. Them. They have names. <laughs> Many names, stylists. We, we could get some. He will have bilateral symmetry. <laughs> Be between four and eight feet tall. We'll have most of his or her fingers. There Insert we go. Insert hair to two, cut. Twenty-two, twenty-two. Uh, Tuesday that's will when, be that's... the day that you get shaved bald. Yeah. There we go. And and, and I w we'll do nice, it live here nicely, please. Yeah. I mean, you keep he saying can't. it, and like I, both of you, gonna, ag sorry, both of you agreed to person, not barber. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Bryce, we got a game. <laughs> There's enough money involved that we can get a guy. Okay, hello everybody. Uh, oh, yeah, the thousands off the table. <laughs> <laughs> thousand was 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 a one night only oh, proposition. No, no, that's fair. You know, the first time on the tank, you know, you got to learn those lessons the hard way. Hello everybody, got a new game for you. It's called. Masters of Wikipedia. Yeah. Hold on. Call Tom Merritt. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh goodness. Uh, this is a new game based on a new novelty Twitter account that I found uh, a little while ago at Depths of Wiki. Depths of Wiki. Uh, this is Depths of Wikipedia. They curate some curious corners of the encyclopedia that anybody can edit. For example, uh, they posted uh, a few days ago this, uh, this picture, this screenshot. Um, uh, Brian, can you read this out for us? It says here, that sign can't stop him because he can't read. <laughs> it's a bear that says, keep off fish pass. But Illiterate Kodiak bear cub waiting for the fish. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody made a funny underneath the... the, the Pretty the good. Cute that's picture. right. And yeah. so that's a screen cap. It, it is not... It doesn't say that anymore. It says uh, Kodiak bear cub perched on a sign. Yes. So, but funny stuff like that. Is the idea? I mean, also factually yeah. accurate. I don't think like, that bear like could read. Somebody putting in Tony B. Cassidy <laughs> on a thing that wound up getting aggregated. Not only because, by the way, that's something that we did not mention. Tom was not the only one fooled by that. That it, that shit because Movie Pass became an international story. Uh -huh. That shit got circulated on a lot of fucking websites. I, I I cannot wait for everybody to put it in the Discord. I if you Google Tony B. Cassidy, what you get is uh. Uh, uh, the movie pass Wikipedia page, you get my Twitter <laughs> you, <laughs> with co uh, uh, co founder says, Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> you get Tom's episode of DTNS where he said that. 
And then all the all the robot the random stuff. chum sites, yeah. yeah, that were scraping shit. Uh, so to prove your mastery of wiki, you're gonna face off in these <laughs> set of challenges. I'm gonna show or read you something from Wikipedia each round, and you're gonna tell me what Wikipedia page it's from. Uh, and you'll either have to you either get one guess, or you're gonna have to buzz in. You'll figure it out as we go. It's very simple. Okay, but uh, new game. I feel like, I mean, there's at least stakes, right? Well, uh, that's right. I, I think we've got a special punishment today. Is that, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yes. The loser of this game must make a culturally appropriate reading from the final Wikipedia question of this game. Music will be provided uh, for our loser. It can't be, hey, buddy. I'm just. <laughs> uh, 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 hold on. Bryce, can you please repeat? that again sure uh the loser of this game must make a culturally appropriate reading from the final question a of the culturally game culturally appropriate reading appropriate. And, and music will be provided for culturally it. appropriate music will be provided yeah that's right okay well this is this certainly not going to end it's all certainly of our not Chekhov's punishment yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so okay. let's go so uh everybody ready to play the game here we go <laughs> god damn it Bryce, what? you've got all the music I in know, the world. I know, I know. All Literally, right. get you. I'm going to... <laughs> oh, fucking Bobby all McFerrin the, over uh, here is All of a sudden, get Michael Winslow shit. is oh, like, yeah. uh, here's Ronald Reagan in a helicopter. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I have well, to talk well, and sleep. Uh, jelly beans. <laughs> don't, well. don't give me Trump Ronald Nancy. Reagan. No <laughs> Trump <laughs> Ronald Reagan. <laughs> what are you doing over here, Corey? Okay, hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> If Donald Trump was a transformer, Bob the best. Oh, music will be provided. So uh, this round, I'm going to read you a piece. Hey, of hey, was that was that was that like? <laughs> hold on, was that like a a, a a subtle threat you were making? Is like, hey man, I can still decide what music gets played underneath. Yeah, your that's punishment. A fair point. Yeah, just saying. Okay. There's no there are no laws on Google Drive. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so what, you can gamble? Well, yeah. You can fish without a license? Yep, <laughs> yep those are the exact examples and the most extreme ones I could have thought yep, of. That's the, that's the worst <laughs> thing you can do on the internet. Bryce, go! <laughs> All right, round one here. I'm going to read you this. You're going to buzz in by saying your name. So, Brian, you're going to say Brian. Justin, you're going to say Justin. Okay. And uh, you're going to get uh, one guess uh, uh, per person. So you can guess multiple times, but you have to wait for the other person to guess. Okay? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, I've blanked out one of the words. You just have to tell me, buzz in, and guess what the... Thing is, here I go. Davidson supported Hillary Clinton in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. And on December 5th, 2017, he stated on his Instagram account that he got a tattoo on his leg of Clinton, whom he called his, quote, hero, a, quote, badass, and, quote, one of the strongest people in the universe. Clinton herself thanked Davidson for the compliment, joking, quote, this makes it significantly less awkward that I've had a blank Justin. Davidson. Justin. Pete. Show me, Pete. You win. Correct. We were looking for Pete Davidson. Yep. Pete Davidson. I think I'm about to have to do a culturally appropriate yep. reading. Fuck Skeet Davidson, Team Yay. All right, so that's a point for... <laughs> Are we back on K-pop? Is that a K-pop thing? <laughs> no. Don't worry, Brian. You'll get your turn Don't sometime. Worry. You'll get a turn at the, the Oh, game. you'll get your turn. <laughs> My turn just says count. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Smarten up, Kim. All uh, right. Uh, that's a point for Justin. You're, uh, can you keep track of the scores yeah. for me, Brett? Please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, we're going to do this again. You're going to buzz in. I'm not even going to put this on screen. I'm going to start reading. This song was initially selected as the theme song of the 2000 Democratic National Convention, but this plan was scrapped due to the possibility of people associating the song with Monica Lewinsky, who had a central role in the Clinton Lewinsky scandal with the chorus. A little bit of Monica in my life. Oh, yeah, Brian, Brian, Brian. Oh, Mambo number five. God damn it. Show me Mambo number five. Yes, That's ah, right. Mambo. God damn it. I forgot this was a this was a buzzing round. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's a point for Brian. Yeah. There we go. You are both going to get one guess each. This is not a buzzing round, uh, but it's not a long question. All right. I would like you to tell me what a Gongoozler is a gongoozler. A gongoozler. You can see there's probably a little bit of text there that uh, might be a little bit of a hint. It looks like it is a person. 
is a person who. So uh, you're both going to give me a guess for what you believe a gone goozler is. And whoever's closest, as determined by science, will get a point. We are going to start with Brian on this one. Brian, what is a gone goozler? A gone goozler is the rarest of animals. In the late 70s, there was a television show called The Gong Show. Every so often, they would have a ringer in there who would bamboozle the judges, confuse them with a polished act. That was a big old setup. For example, there was one time the writer's room, in an effort to actually get a bit thrown out, said, what if two hot girls just sucked on lollipops? Yes. <laughs> or I think they were popsicles, actually. Yep. Uh, then it got gone through, uh, and America sat there for... <laughs> 13 seconds. We watched it on a previous incarnation of this show. That's a gong goozler. All right. That's a person who has deceived America the on the gong show. show. Specifically mm. on the gong show. All right. Justin. In the you, late 70s. In the late 70s. Yeah. What do you believe? Not a, the reboot in the early 2000s. And not the reboot in the early 2000s. Justin, what do you believe a gong goozler <clears throat> is? To answer this question, uh, I'm going to have to channel. Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's serious, all right? Would you stop laughing? This is really if you find yourself <laughs> in a situation for which you have a lot of geese <laughs> and you tell them to get gone, <laughs> you might be a gone goosling. <laughs> I mean, what's funny is you could just end with, you might be a redneck. <laughs> oh, I, I rednecks don't, don't own the domain of telling a bunch of geese to get gone. You know, who's more? Okay, well, we'll find London, out. London, people in peacoats could be telling geese yeah. to get oh. gone. Oh, be gone, geese. Be gone. There's gone gooslers out He said might. The, there the, might be a gone goosler. <laughs> the number one thing Brits are known for, they're peacoats. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, uh, look at this peak coat. And say I'm broke. Team A. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hardly, I hardly peak coat her. All right. Uh, uh, what we were looking for, where Gone Goozler is, a person who enjoys watching activity on the canals of the United Kingdom. Hey! The term is also used more generally to describe those who harbor an interest in canals and canal life, but do not actively participate. Uh, Sorry. You're celebrating uh -huh. because you believe a Jeff Foxworthy impression <laughs> is so close to were we somebody. Were talking about British people? N yes, because oh! we were. <laughs> because it was the opposite of the thing you were talking about. Like, I challenged you <laughs> to think of the most opposite thing of Jeff Foxworthy, and you came up with the answer. You came up with. The answer by using algorithm opposite of what I just said, and now you're celebrating because on, quite wait, literally wait, you my, picked the point of fucking point on the I'm other sorry, side I'm of the sorry, planet. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting a call. Uh huh. Yeah, that was MC Scat Cat. He says opposite the track. <laughs> you know we could call MC Scat Cat. <laughs> we could. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to know. I, I'm trying to put Romney Malco. Romney Malco actually did an album. Oh right, yes, yeah. 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 I, yeah. I for, yes, and that God, was you should watch our show sometimes. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Night Attack. It was called Night Attack. That's right. Uh, okay, uh, because uh, because geese are involved, we're gonna give it to Brian. Brian had the geese one, right? No, yes. yeah. geese. No. I had the geese one, and it's Justin's fault. Hey! Hey! Geese like the water. Mm. I love that shit. It's fucking love. They go nuts for it. All right. Dude, you ever seen a geese with some water? That guy is cuckoo for tigers. <laughs> we'll do, we're going to do another both guess round. You're both going to give me a guess of what you believe the Wikipedia page for this article. Father, this why do geese love the water? <laughs> hey, I have some carrots to uh, Justin, can I have you read the tweet? Father, can you get this next question? <laughs> You yeah. are bringing shame to the family, <laughs> okay. father. I will re read it for you. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the tweet reads, they deserve it. The photo depicts uh, a couple of critters. Looks like maybe chipmunks or wood chippers or <laughs> cheap chops or beavers. It's just the first I mean, two right words below the it, it says what it is. <laughs> it's right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Prairie dogs uh. enjoy special protection in Boulder. 
There we go. So we're going to start with Justin on this one. Justin, what is the Wikipedia page that you believe that this curious find is from? Uh, I, I believe that it is Federal Wildlife Protection Laws. Federal Wildlife Protection Laws, he says. Yeah, like a Wikipedia for all of them. J uh, just all to them, be clear, okay. this is a uh, always factually appropriate or sometimes vandalized or what? Uh, I think in general, they try not to post vandalizations. Okay. And in fact, that's... That makes that example one a weird one. Why we didn't use it because the bear yeah. that was a vandal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, it, okay. but it, it still was silly. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is about uh, marijuana legalization. <laughs> I see. <laughs> These the, prairie dogs like getting wicked high. They love you can get up. wicked high in Boulder with a prairie dog. With a prairie dog. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They enjoy and and the uh, special protection provided by Doug. Do you think that drug dealers who own <laughs> prairie dogs like getting their prairie dogs high? Like uh, they like getting their well, regular uh, dogs high? First of all, high? Uh, like, uh, you ever or, met a drug dealer who liked to get his dog high? Uh, I've met, <laughs> every, like, is there literally anyone who has gotten high and has a dog and hasn't tried to get their dog high? No. Okay. Fair point. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, I can see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, Justin, we're gonna get, we're gonna get emails. <laughs> Justin said, uh, 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 "You said the the federal land laws." Justin, is that correct? Yeah, federal wildlife protection. Federal wildlife protection laws. Yeah, I said that weed though. And Brian said, said "Yeah, that that stank, <laughs> that's dicky icky, danky. the danky winky." All right, <laughs> danky wanky. <laughs> that danky wanky. That danky wanky. All right, <laughs> hold on. Have you okay? <laughs> Sorry, did you have a little danky wanky thought? Well, I was just imagining masturbating while wicked high. <laughs> you don't need to imagine, my friend. Imagining what? R reality imagining. can be whatever you make of it. <laughs> With God, everything is possible. <laughs> Fire on weed. <laughs> By a con By dank a con <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so your answers are in. Uh, this is what we were looking for. A Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Ooh. Colorado. Okay, so which Close. is closer? Close. Weed. Federal wildlife protection. <laughs> Weed. Federal wildlife protection. Come All right, no, oh, oh, you think slipping into a Jeff, Jeff Foxworthy patois uh, is going to get you the win? Weed. <laughs> <laughs> or federal wildlife protection. I like how yes. you said it like an alien. Weed. 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 Your earth weird. Mm. Only good, sir. Uh, yeah, no, fuck you, fuck you. Shut up. Stop talking. Protection. Influencing the judge. <laughs> Justin gets the point. Hey! <laughs> or no, Work Brian harder, gets the point. Smarter. It is weed. It no. is no weed. Which is the weed one? Who had the weed question? So I had the. Even when I have the right answer, you give it to Justin. <laughs> no, I'll give it to Oops. Brian. I'm giving it to Brian. Brian gets. Damn the point. it! Sorry, Justin. Uh, not sorry. This is I'm officiating this game. Also, okay. You fucked up right. both answers so far. Also, that'd be really great if like somebody went overboard apologizing for every call he made in a game of baseball. Like just like <laughs> like five more seconds necessary. Yeah. Go like I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, man. No, exactly. I'm real sorry. It's yeah. just you clearly you were out. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. Do that. All right. All right. Let, you know what? I'm. So, I just want to say one more time how sorry I am. I this really messed I up. I literally want to make a reference, but it's our C block, so I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. I'm gonna start. Reading this, uh, and you're going to buzz in by saying your name when you have a guess of what Ready. the exact article is. Uh, heading, types. Heading, technology. An open heading, security concerns. Quote, on January 13, 1999, it was reported that the National Security Agency... Jeff Foxworthy! <laughs> uh, Jeff, what is your guess? Wait, this is a buzz in? This is a buzz in. Okay. And you have to say your name. Yeah. Uh, it was reported that the National Security Agency of the United States banned blank from entering NSA's property due to concerns that they may be used to record and repeat classified information, advising those that see Justin. any- Justin. Justin. Edward I... Snowden? <laughs> you know what? I rescind my buzz in. <laughs> you... No, you will have to wait until Brian guesses. You have to buzz in again. Literally uh, any piece of technology that is not the human being, Edward Snowden. 
Well, we're looking that's a for a lot. That's a lot for that one little blammo. <laughs> we're trying to find. Yeah, we're trying to find. Uh, Sorry, uh, if we're okay, a tape recorder. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, this is not a closest round, by the oh, way. Oh goddamn it! Fuck you. Ah. This is a buzzing round. Justin, do you have any? You have a guess? You have guesses? Just go wild on this guess. Uh, uh, discs. Discs. Close. MP3 but tape. players. MP3 player is closer than incorrect. iPods. Uh, even closer. But incorrect. Shameful yeah, regrets. January <laughs> 1999. All right. What we were looking the for. The Necronomicon. <laughs> Paper. What we were looking for was Furbies. Oh. We for Furbies. You made a joke about Furbies minutes ago. I literally ago. joked about Furbies yeah. about 30 minutes ago. Yeah. yeah. Audience member knew. Yeah. yeah, that guy. Okay. That guy knew. Uh, uh, for anybody who uh, is too young to remember, like uh, there was a time that Furbies were sold on a lie that they would learn over time and get yeah. good, and Turns out they the were. NSA were suckers who believed it and thought they were listening. So, <laughs> father, why am I smarter than the NSA? <laughs> <laughs> Even I know these are recordings. All right, this is another one guess round. You're both gonna get one guess. I'm gonna read you these headings. From the Wikipedia page, closest guess will get the point. <laughs> Heading one, personal life. Justin! He this is not a buzzing round, Justin. Fuck! Heading two, <laughs> penis size. Heading three, business activities and endeavors. Uh, I believe we're starting with Brian on this one. Brian, what is this a Wikipedia page for? I agree. I think the answer is Justin. <laughs> no, it's actually John Hamm. All right, Brian's guess is John Hamm. Justin. Tommy Lee. Justin is going to say Tommy Lee. Brett, do you know this one? Uh, I was just going to guess with John Holmes. John Holmes? Okay. Let's take a look. We were looking for John Holmes. Ah! Uh, Wait, we're just going with guys with big dicks? Obviously. Yeah. I mean, not just, yeah, I mean, because Tommy Lee's got the movie or the show out, whatever it is sure. on, on Hulu. Sure. On yeah. Hulu. Mm -hmm. hey, what's it called again? Pam and Tommy? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sorry. You can cover I, that on Court Killers? No, I thought that would be an it opportunity was just all -pop. To, 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 like, make up something or tell a joke. <laughs> or, oh, <laughs> no, it's a real show. It's a real show. I thought, no, you, were, I thought uh, you were curious. No, yeah, no, I just got confused for a second. <laughs> Part okay. of me was like, Brian said that because ten. he thinks 10% the show is about his dick. <laughs> the show's name is about the dick. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, isn't, I, like, isn't his that, dick that like would a be, character That would be a funny thread show? to start, is it. to talk about like, uh, 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 me and old Steel Beams. Steel Beams, McGee, and me. The Tommy Lee story. Hooray. Oh. Found the Foundry Pounder featuring Tommy Lee. We got there. <laughs> Fire. Fire. Fire comes out my dick. Wine Tommy tumbler. Lee myth. All right. Get it with the wine tumbler. All right. This is our final round. F -f 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 -final and it's 2-2, two -two, right? And uh, Are you still that's doing my question. Acapella score. Or acapella <laughs> scoring. Listen. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Let me have some fun. <laughs> Okay. okay, Brett, what is our score <laughs> going into the final round? Our score is Brett's got one. <laughs> and those guys have two. Yeah. And okay. Two. Okay. Well, this is our person with the lowest score shaves their head. <laughs> <laughs> In a week. <laughs> it's time for our four point round. So it's still anybody's game. You're going to get one guess each. Uh, and uh, whoever's closest will get the point and the game. Gentlemen, here's your final round. Justin, can you describe this image <laughs> and caption? It is a what looks to be a white horse. Okay. And then the caption underneath it is a very simple question. <laughs> is this a horse? Is that a horse? <laughs> now, uh, uh, because this is a one guess round, Justin is going to guess first. It's his turn to go first. Picture of a horse caption. Is this a horse? Justin, what Wikipedia page? <laughs> Would you find this caption? And so, uh, I mean, just clarifying before yeah. I answer. So these are not silly vandalized. Captions. Is correct. This okay. is not vandalized. And this I've, is, this and is I've, a, this so, so, so we, we can't go yeah. with like the Wikipedia for moth. And right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I will say 
It is the Wikipedia for questions. It's the Wikipedia for questions. All right. The concept of questions. Brian. So you don't know, like, they're asking you something. Wikipedia.com slash questions. Yeah, exactly. Or is it? That's a question. (laughs) (laughs) Brian. Eyesight. This is about eyesight. <laughs> Brian pointing is pointing at, at the victor now. <laughs> I mean, look at it. It's a, is this a horse? Can you step is 20, this a horse? Is this we a don't horse? Know. 20, step 20 feet away. Your Honor. <laughs> oh, the, I, yeah, I this rest my case. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. Got a staff writer over here on defense, huh? Father, I am only trying to help. <laughs> I can't wait for the first time you see Kelly call me that. Father, I'm trying to yes and over here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Father, we are trying to keep the momentum. <laughs> All right. So the answers that we got. Uh, I'm sorry. What answers did we get again? One more time. Uh, eyesight and eyesight questions. And questions. Justin said questions. Brian said eyesight. Interestingly enough, neither of us said an article about horses. <laughs> or horses. Yeah. We both, we both uh, uh, decided to go off the beaten path. That's right. All right, gentlemen. I'm going to show you what this is an actual Wikipedia page of. Say it with me. When With a, a white, white horse, horse is, is not, not a, a horse. horse. Oh, my mother. Uh, when a white horse is not a horse is a paradox in Chinese philosophy around 300 BC. Gong Song Long wrote about this dialect analysis of the question, can one legitimately assert that a white horse is not a horse in a work now named for him? Gong Song Longzi is a segment called the White Horse Dialogue. Oh, Jesus, I'm now realizing what the fucking punishment's going to be. Yeah, you know what you did is you just demonstrated your ability to very classily and culturally appropriately pronounce all of those words. That was me. That was me running as fast as I can over those burning calls. (laughs) I don't think I could do it again. Bryce, I really, really, really would not like to do it again. Who wins? All right. The answers that we had included... Questions. 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 When is a white horse not a horse? When a white horse is not a horse. Or uh, eyesight. Eyesight. Eyesight, which is not is not is really a verbal sort of thing that we're doing here. So I think I mean, look at look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Right oh, I'm there. sorry. Did look I use right words? There. Is that what threw you off? I got too verbal. Yes. <laughs> All right, you better buckle up for some culturally wait, appropriate wait, wait, motherfucking wait, 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 recitals. No, wait, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. I, when no, is a no, loser no, not a loser? Whoa, whoa, when he whoa. wanted to lose the whole fucking time. Oh. Get out of my face, Confucius. Give it. All Let's right. go. All right, here is your culturally appropriate music. I'm gonna put the uh, the the whole paradox on the screen behind you, and yes. I'll have it uh, here. <laughs> ah, there's more. You have to read all of it. <laughs> there's, there's quite a lot here. All right, I'm gonna start your music. Here right, we you go. Have to turn around there. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I can read. Can you? Yes. <clears throat> Culturally appropriate music. White horse is not horse. Assertable? It is. How? Horse. Is that by means of which one names the shape? White. Is that by which one names the color? What names the color and not what? Fuck, I can't even check. No, wait, what the fuck is this? Is this a translation of this? Uh, yes. Doesn't seem culturally appropriate. (laughs) You should have it, just, you should be more sturdy. (laughs) Shit. Oh, I, oh wait, I'm sorry, I thought you meant to lose. Oh no. I go mean, ahead, go ahead, come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Look, look, you meant to lose. You meant okay. to lose. Look, Do it. Look. Hey, all right. Sidebar. Look, yeah, sidebar, sidebar. I'm, I'm really yeah. up about this. Okay. I don't go know ahead. what the bit is telling me to do. Okay. I need you to really coach me through this, okay? Okay. So, um, what I would, co- Brian? Can I do the Jeff Frost? Brian? Box? I know you already Brian? did it. Fuck, God damn it! You got to the bit before. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was gonna, sorry, I was sorry, gonna okay. build up to like a okay. whole like full eyes, clear hearts can't lose like kind of yeah. thing. Okay. Okay. But, uh, 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 Brian? Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm here to tell you. Yeah. Do yeah. the Jeff Foxworthy bit. Yes, Mr. Lack. Is a white horse is not a horse assertable? Actually, there's two characters. Why are we not doing this together? Yeah, all right. right. Uh, Two Foxworthies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Fox, well, Fox, this is like the heart-wrenching drama of the Foxworthy. Finally, we live yes. in two Foxworthy. Uh -huh, your honor. Okay. Wait, is a white horse not a horse assertable? It is. How? Horse. Is that by means of which one names the shape white? Is that by means of which one means the color? What names the color is not what names the shape. Hence, one might say white horse is not horse. If there are white horses, one cannot say that there are no horses. If one cannot say there are no horses, doesn't that mean there are horses in your face ass? <laughs> for there to be white horses is for there to be horses. How else could it be that a discussion that is said in a bat Jeff Foxworthy voice could be a psychological brain melt? How could it be the white ones are not horses? Congratulations, you did it. God damn it. Uh, hey, Internet, I bet you ain't seen that before. <laughs> Are we back on trust? We just... Oh, we're back in trust. We're... <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you to uh, at Depths of Wiki, I believe is the, uh, uh, the, the Twitter account there, at uh, Depths of Wiki, W-I-K-I. Uh, for that, that's where I got all of the tweets and the Wikipedia stuff there. Go follow her. She just had, a, had like an article go viral about something else. So right on. Um, check it out. Damn, regular Tom Merritt over here. And uh, <laughs> that's right. Great, greatnightpod at gmail.com is where you can send in ideas for games. If you've got emails, questions, high thoughts, ideas for punishments, all sorts of stuff. Greatnightpod at gmail.com or check the show notes wherever you're listening or watching this. Uh, hot damn, dude. Another good game at the bank. Hot damn, dude. Maybe next time we can agree on how to play it. Uh, <laughs> you guys hear that? Are you ready? Are you ready for Brian to talk about the Super Bowl? Woo! I think he definitely was. Totally. He's a big fan of football. Yeah. He definitely didn't just sit and watch the Righteous Gemstone. Uh, definitely. So you better was get it? ready, you better get right, because Brian's going to describe every play of the Super Bowl tonight. Uh, hey! Woo! Uh, yeah, you know what? See, Bryce, um, I can do acapella too. And it was fun, wasn't it? It was better music. <laughs> uh, 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 Brian, as you know, huge I'm, Super Bowl fan. Hell, yeah, it. yeah. What was, so, I mean, let, let's just start out with your favorite Super Bowl, like, party Foods. What is your favorite food at a Super Bowl party? Uh, trick question, bro. Why? My favorite food ain't available in my area because we're not in a Zaxby's market, so I didn't even get to see my favorite Super Bowl ad, Guy on a Buffalo Wing. Okay, cool. You took my second bit, but that's fine. Am I like the Hamburglar of jokes? jokes. Am I the Carlos Mencia of this podcast? Trying to do a bit. Time <laughs> traveling Carlos Mencia. Steals what was your, your bit favorite before you ad, say Brian? <laughs> Sorry, let me go to my second question. Uh, okay. Uh... Yeah, okay, so there was, uh, uh, okay, all right, so there was, was like, in the uh, do you remember the one <laughs> where it began with, <laughs> with the sad dad looking out and, and hugging his daughter? Yeah. And he looks down, and the daughter looks up and says, Father, I must leave you now. <laughs> and then she ran away and came back. On her like, feet? Uh, I, uh, yeah, or like like through the sky. Uh, no, no, no. She ran away. Okay, and uh, and he cried, and then the man cried. Yes, in a Super Bowl ad. Yes, that's uh, a, that's that's a I mean bold stance for but the. Then, but then, yeah. an old lady kicked him in the nuts, and they said Doritos. <laughs> 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 I must have been peeing. <laughs> oh no, that was a great I must one. Have been in the here's a, here's another great one. one. Yeah. Here's another great okay, one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, guys driving in a Cadillac. Yeah. What kind of Cadillac? <laughs> a Cadillac, <laughs> Justin. He Cadillac. just said. Like a black one, a white one, a gray one. Uh, he says, You may be wondering what color Cadillac I'm driving. You right don't even now. see it. It's inside. Well, because it's an interior yeah, yeah, shot. Yeah, interior shot. And yeah. then he's like, Let's pull back. And then it pulls all the way back. <laughs> well, and says, there, is, there is no Cadillac. And he says, you don't need a Cadillac. Buy a Tesla. hi -ya! And then he kicks the lady in, in her crotch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so it was like a callback to the Doritos ad? Yeah. Well, so I, Tesla and Doritos no, have like not, a partnership? No, no, no. Tesla got intel about the Doritos ad. And they just and they wanted to, to undercut yes, it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I heard about both of those, but it was 
it was really pulled together by the third ad. Yes. Right. Yes. Which uh, was uh, well. Well, this was this was for home mortgages, and yeah. it featured two Martians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're all like, bleep, blah, blah. Mortgages on Mars are so expensive. Yeah. What do well, we do? Fact. A known fact. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Elon Musk comes up and kicks him in the crotch and says, "I'm the landlord of Mars." <laughs> What was the ad for? Nothing. <laughs> for nothing. Just, Someone it's just, just a home video like, that when you have that much when you, you a lot of when you have, when you're literally the richest man in the world, you can afford to do that kind of thing. <laughs> like like tweets aren't enough. <laughs> so you just He's impulse buying Super Bowl commercials. He's impulse buying the Super Bowl commercial. You know what? Actually, your man Jeff has the answer is for Rocket Mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh. where it was. Uh, uh, Brian, a hell of a game, right? Yes. Uh, 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 a, a bummer for the city that lost, right? Uh, well, let's talk about the Rams. The Rams. Oh yeah. Of course. Uh, uh what, what city's really happy that the Rams won? Uh, I mean, all of them. The Rams are America's mammal. Sure. Uh, but specifically, they play in what city? I mean, when I was a kid, they played in LA, but nowadays they play for all of us. But where, what, what city specifically? Uh, <laughs> kick you in the nuts. <laughs> Rocket Mortgage. If, uh, you, if you were going to guess. I mean, are, are they not the L.A. Rams? Oh, oh, St. Louis? They're, they're in St. Louis now. The heart of America. They're America's city. The Rams. Final answer? Yes. It was L.A. <laughs> 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 they moved back to LA. That okay, was a mean okay, trick by me. Okay, all right. Uh, and, and they beat who? Do you remember uh, who they beat? Oh man, anyone in their path. That's who they beat. Uh, they were they were running up and down. Uh, I, I, I'll give you I'll give you a hint. Uh, uh, I thought that this other team was going to win. The Patriots. In the morning, we hate them. In the morning, <laughs> there was an orange cat that come that came onto ben, our the Bengals. Yeah, the Garfields. That's right. Yeah, the Bengals. Okay. From it used to be Cincinnati, and it still is. Fuck you. Nobody wants to take anything from Cincinnati <laughs> except their I mean, soccer they team. A little. They have they have a nice view. Oh wait, did Austin steal the Cincinnati soccer team? A friend of mine is very upset that Austin stole the Austin Football Club. Absolutely from, from Ohio. Cincinnati. It, either Cincinnati or Columbus. No, it's not Columbus. Columbus still has You don't even know you're spreading rumors uh, on the internet. He was spreading it. <laughs> what are you, the Wikipedia of this podcast? Uh, uh, who, of, who, yes. who was who was the star quarterback? The big star quarterback. He had he had a, 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 a huge comeback over the last year. I know this. Who? It's Times Man of the Year. Who's that? You. I think the Time Man of the Year was Elon Musk. I met previously. <laughs> Remember when they had the mirror? When they had the front? mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was talking to the commercial he described earlier. Yeah, he's talking remember, about Elon remember when Musk. <laughs> Rudolph Giuliani was the man of the year? Of course. Yeah. yeah. He was okay. America's mayor after 9 11. All right. <sighs> I got it. It was before his brain leaked out of his head. <laughs> Work out. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, the quarterback. Mm hmm. And you know what? There was a big uh, 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 final drive. Yeah. I mean, we all remember what happened, right? Oh, my God. We were all. We there. all remember. And 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 we down, all everybody down three everybody points, knew down three points. Everybody knew that yep. what they needed was heart, and they needed to bring their game. Yep. Yep. And of everybody, the most yep. important is the quarterback because he's yes. the one who makes the decisions. Big play caller. And everybody, they were right up to the point where it's like we're gonna score them points, and it's me. Yep. So I... <laughs> Serum, okay. Yeah. You're actually not far off. <laughs> not really? You're actually not Tom Serum. <laughs> well, uh. now you got further, but it's fine. Serum uh, Tom. Uh, Eagles. Move on from the name. We're okay, moving on. Okay. Eagles. Eagles. We're moving on from the name. You We're know moving it's on the, from the name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 so uh, uh, there was there was a a, a uh, his connection with another player on the field. Yes, was. Pretty iconic. He, oh my what, god! What, what what position did the other player uh, play? Uh, uh, catcherman. <laughs> catcherman. I mean, that's colloquially colloquially what he's called among his equals. 
who okay. might say might, might say he was a receiver or a uh -huh. a running. <laughs> Let's say receiver. Let's say receiver. Running Let's say receiver. He's a running receiver. Uh, and that, of course, that receiver <laughs> is won the MVP for Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> sure the one he's asking. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to Bugs Bunny this shit. <laughs> Where it's like rabbit season, duck season, football season, season, soccer season, football season, soccer season. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, the Everybody fight, the, know the big, the big, the big uh, uh, the catch uh, of the game. Catch of the game. You're talking in the about end zone. Uh, 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 what was what was your emotions? Uh, if, if you were to break down that play, what, yeah, what would you say? Uh, you ever see Midnight Run? Sure, <laughs> Charles Grodin. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and also Robert De Niro. Yeah, remember when he uh, beat up an FBI guy and stole his ID, and that idea was for Alonzo Mosley? Yeah, yeah, that was a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can all agree about that. Uh, uh, final play of the game, of course. This yeah. is uh, iconic. One of the best defensive players in the league asserts his dominance, sacks the quarterback. Uh, what? Dr. What do you Dre. <laughs> he just runs up there and asserts his dominance. Just apropos of nothing before this halftime performance. By the way, what, what did you think of the halftime performance? Oh, it's great. So good. Who, what, what did you think about that one uh, 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 iconic artist hanging upside down? Uh, sorry. May we speak plainly? Yeah. Are you asking what I thought of yeah. 50 Cent? <laughs> wow. At first, I thought he just... Go, shorty. <laughs> it's your birthday. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought... Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, I, you almost had it. You almost had it. Oh. I, 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 I thought, boy, wouldn't it be great if Eminem showed up? And he did. And he did. Did he? He did. He did. <laughs> yep. What song did he sing? Uh, he said, I mean, it can't be his most famous hit. I mean, it is the halftime of the Super Bowl. That's really when you do uh, your deep so, cut. So he must have done. Uh, Talking to you, Kendrick Lamar. Uh, uh, that song that made him famous. Which goes. I, what's. I, 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 wait, doesn't he insult Dr. Dre in that song? No. Nope. What song wait, wait, are you talking about? Uh, my name about? is. My name is. That was the. That was the one that got him on the map, right? Uh, that was his one of that his first hits. Yeah, one of his first hits. Not what he performed. Not his biggest hit. Oh well, then uh, real slim and shady. Please stand up. No, would be appropriate. Bigger, bigger. Oh, uh, eight mile soundtrack. Oh, yeah. God damn it! You better lose to the when you're in this moment oh, on great night, and you suddenly realize <laughs> that somebody set you up and pinned you into a position, <laughs> and you realize that you have no choice but to do a terrible freestyle to wrap this motherfucker up and put it to bed. <laughs> Take it, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> hey Brett, what did we learn tonight? Well, we learned <laughs> that Brian don't know shit about football and maybe even less about a halftime show. We learned that <laughs> <laughs> Bryce's frozen face is the <laughs> Oh, it's been a great night. A great night. I don't wait We've learned that this guy is probably going to get his head shaved next week. And uh, that my wife is awesome and hilarious. Oh, also, Tom Merritt is correct in everything he says and does. Indeed. Shine on, you crazy diamond. Hey, it's been a. Yeah, it might be a great night. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I see, Professor. <laughs> Get out of here, geeks. Go back to Boulder. Get out of here. For another motherfucking great night. <laughs> Just to my friend, the pain never ends the moment you walk away. Slamming my fingers in a door repeatedly feels just the same. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. great. You keep me alive You help me survive No, there's never been a greater night A single battle, later night A positive night
masturbation night uh, Let's get drunk and laugh tonight There's never been a greater, great night Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>